The Preamble Express was created in 1974 in anticipation of America's bicentennial. It toured the country in preparation for the American Freedom Train and its historical displays that would follow in 1976. There were four hospitality cars pulled by an EMD E9 originally painted for the Union Pacific Rail Lines. At the time, Lionel didn't offer such a large locomotive, but they had plenty of F3s. A Preamble Express is one of the most affordable models offered if you want entry into the Lionel F3 community. Nearly new examples can be found for less than $100. A mint and box Preamble Express is a lot cheaper than the new Menards F3, especially after it's been marked up for resale on eBay. All of these prices were found online in February of 2022. While researching the Lionel F3, I discovered that they also offered dummy A and B units. Williams painted a set of passenger cars for the Bicentennial, and more recently K-Line created a version of the Preamble Express using an Alco locomotive. My shell came from eBay and was missing the horns. At some point, a previous owner had tried to glue one back in place. I had to remove the excess glue before repainting the affected area. At first, I thought I could get by with just redoing a small patch, but I ended up respraying a much larger area. I'm glad I did though, because the second type of paint has a sheen that more closely matches the surrounding areas. The paint is still fresh, but will dry to a satin finish. I bought several of these cast horns a while back, and they also helped to make this complete and to look like new. I have a collection of Williams F7 shells that have to share a base if I want them on the track. Now I'm starting a similar situation with Lionel F3s. This is a motorized base from an MPC era Santa Fe. I removed the shell and repainted the frame and couplers. I also switched it over to LED lighting. An original Preamble Express would have a black frame, but I think this fresh silver paint matches well with this now nearly mint shell. If you don't mind a little bit of disassembly and reassembly, having multiple shells for one base is a nice way to have a larger collection while saving just a little bit of money. A few years after the Bicentennial, the Preamble Express was returned to its Union Pacific colors, but it will always have a patriotic history. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and until next time, this has been Bob's Workshop. Take care.